Securing A. It's not one yet. Keep it tight. Let him take you alive. Nice.
locked down. Securing Bravo. Securing Charlie. Standby. Spy plane mission time clock, 50%. Napalm strike standing by. <laughs> Hello, and thanks again for watching today's episode. We are looking at the Bullfrog Submachine Gun Echo. And with that said, I'm going to show you my gunsmith uh, loadout for the Bullfrog. So, starting off with the optics. Um, before I go into the one I currently have, I was using the Snap Point uh for quite a bit actually um the main reason for it is just like it says um for the clear sight picture i mean yeah it's not the silix hollow scout that has the uh distortion free sight but that clear uh sight picture if you will um it was actually really nice um you know because the one of course you want to go with is the fast point reflex um, that's the one I currently have and I would pretty much say there is a night and day difference um, this is definitely in my opinion the one you want to go for um, compared to all the rest of these other uh, optics if you will um, didn't really test out the axial arms 3x or the suset multi zoom um, I saw you know just like some of you guys have probably seen, you know, other people with this particular weapon and with this particular fast point reflex sight, um, probably, you know, in the best plays or whatever, um, depending on what game mode, or actually not even depending on what game mode, you've probably just seen it, period, on an instant replay. It's a tremendous uh, reflex sight. Um, it's just, you know, the way you're able to right click and uh, get the quick ADS on it. Um, the ADS on this is just significantly faster compared to all the rest of these optic sites. So, um, if you know me uh, by now with some of my episodes or videos I've done, I, I just mainly focus on ADS because I feel as though you know having the advantage of getting the rounds off quicker than your opponent is the way to go. So. This is definitely going, um, sorry, going to allow you to accomplish that. All right, so moving along. As far as the muzzle, I went with the KGB uh, Eliminator, mainly for the plus 85% muzzle flash concealment and the plus 70% vertical recoil control. Um, mainly because I felt as though the cons um, on it. Uh, were very insignificant, if you will. Um, you do need a certain amount of vertical recoil control for the bullfrog, 
Um, otherwise, when you burst fire with it, let's say three to five rounds, um, you'll notice it'll just kick up way too high. This eliminates that problem. All right, so moving along again, we're gonna look at the uh, barrel I have for it. I decided to go with the 6.7 inch VDV reinforced. Um, like I mentioned, it improves the bullet speed and damage range. As far as how much it does that, well, it does plus 18% effective damage range and plus 80% bullet velocity. Um, the cons, you're not really sacrificing any ADS, so I thought I would go with that uh, compared to some of these other ones. Um, yeah, this one's got plus 100% velocity, but again, you're not getting the... Uh, you know, plus 18% or any percent on the effective damage range. Um, yeah, same with this. And, you know, this one, look at this. Uh, you know, you're sacrificing on the cons, vertical recoil control, and horizontal. So I just felt as though the VDV reinforced was the best overall to go with on the Bullfrog. All right. On my body. Well, not my body, but <laughs> anyway. The Bullfrog. Um, I went with the KGB target designator, um, mainly for the plus 60% revealed distance on the ADS. Uh, you need that. You really do. Because if you don't have that equipped, um, again, targets from a, a long range, medium to long range, are just going to get really blurry. Um, you would equip this you basically turn your um, SMG for the bullfrog into a you know like a I guess you could say like a decent assault rifle what do I mean by that well you know the M4s the AK-47s and so on by default you're having a pretty good de uh, uh, medium to long range um, I guess you could say damage control if you will um, without even equipping all this extra stuff um, with the bullfrog of course you know um, by default you're only going to have like small to medium range by having this you're now enabling yourself to do up to those long uh, distance ranges don't get me wrong I mean, it's not like you're going to be able to snipe a guy across the map or anything like that but if you're playing a map like um, oh let's say armada strike uh, you're going to be able to take out targets from a, a far distance. Um, Maul at the Pines. Heck, you're um, for the most part going to be able to do long distance shots on satellite. I wouldn't say across the map, you know, from one spawn to the other or anything like that. No, you're not going to be able to do that. But those other maps I mentioned, yes, absolutely. So definitely go with the KGB target designator and the reason for that if you compare it to some of these other ones um, I mean unless you are the hip firing type person but for my loadout um, no I went with the KGB target designator um, you know like this other one you know plus 40 percent reveal distance you know my attitude to be accurate you don't want this you want to have it with the ADS because you should be aiming with this anyway. Um, you know, like this other one, what, plus 30% reveal distance, plus 26% hit fire accuracy. But, you know, I, I was tempted to go with this, right? But again, look at the cons. Sacrificing 10% ADS time. Not cool. You don't want to do that. So, um, yeah, KGB TART designator, that's definitely the way to go. And then, as far as my under barrel, um, I went with the Spetsnaz grip because um, I wanted the, you know, at least something for the ver vertical recoil control. Yeah, I already have that in another category, but I mean, it's just adding more towards uh, reducing the vertical recoil control. And so, and then an extra plus 20% on the horizontal was pretty nice because that helps definitely with the hip firing. And look, on the cons, not sacrificing any ADS. Yeah, it's minus 30% uh, shooting move speed, but it wasn't that big of a deal. All right. And let's see. As far as the uh, magazine, I just went with the 65 round 
um, magazine. I mean, that's more than enough. It really, really is. Um, I mean, yeah, these other ones, you know, 85%, but look what you're sacrificing. I mean, look at this, minus 15% ADS time. You don't want that. And that's pretty much how it is on all of it. I mean, look at this one. Uh, minus 20% ADS time. Even this one is, is, is very small, but still, six, it all adds up. This one really adds up. Look at that, minus 25% ADS time. Don't want that. You just go with this. I mean, do you really need to have 85 rounds? I guess if you're going to be a camper, but if you want to be running gun like me, you got to go with the 65 round magazine, mainly because you get, of course, you know, um, you at least get something, you know, uh, 65 rounds, but on the cons, you're not sacrificing any ADS whatsoever. And of course, if you go with some of these other ones, you do just that. So, all right, my handle. I uh, went with the uh, GRU elastic wrap. Um, like it says, you know, it improves the shooter's stability while maintaining agility. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, out of all of them, I mean, look at it. I mean, this one's only plus 10% ADS. Um, this one doesn't even have it. I mean, flinch resistance helps. Um, this one has plus 90% flinch resistance. And I think I went with this one for a while until I unlocked the GRU or last grab. But, you know, I think I also want to spit now its field grip for a while. But anyway, yeah, look, I mean, look at this. This one's huge. Um, plus 30% ADS time, plus 90% flinch resistance. So you do want that, you know, the flinch resistance. Um, and then on the cons, you're not sacrificing any ADS at all. Because, I mean, you already got as far as, you know, your pro category goes. So, I definitely recommend that um, for maximum ADS. Now, as far as the stock goes, um, I actually went with no stock. Because I wanted to have plus 30% sprint to fire time. Um, yeah, there's some of these other ones. But, I mean, look at it. I mean, you know, you're sacrificing the hip fire. Um... You just don't really want to do that. I mean, look at these other ones. I mean, it's just nothing really too impressive as far as going with that. I mean, um, yeah, you can see for yourself. I mean, you're just sacrificing way too much. If you just go with the no stock, I mean, yeah, you lose in minus 15% hip fire accuracy, but that plus 30% sprint to fire time, you really need it. If you're going to be running gun, um, you got to have something to kind of help you instantly switch from, you know, being on a quick move to uh, being a person who's going to quickly aim down the sight. So, um, yeah, I would say for the most part, go with the no stock. It still has really great balance. And if you look at, you know, down at the category here for the accuracy, you're still really high up there. So totally recommend that um, and yeah I guess that's about it as far as my gunsmith um, you know like I was mentioning before as far as the optics I know that we already mentioned this before but um, I can't stress enough you got to go with the fast point reflex it's definitely the one to go with for maximum ADS so all right well I'm glad that you guys uh, we're here to listen to the gunsmith if you made it this far and if you like the loadout that I have please leave a like or a comment if you don't like the loadout I have for this uh, please leave a comment I would I like to be able to compare and contrast I'd like to be able to hear from people um, on what they think about this particular loadout it's been working out great for me I've been able to get a lot of uh, you know multi kills uh, with it uh, and racking up great KDRs. I mean, I know it's not all about KDR, but, you know, at the same time, we want to have fun. We want to get the kills. We don't want to die a lot. So, um, this is an absolute great loadout. I can't say that enough. Say enough good things about the Bullfrog with this loadout. Um, it's definitely the way to go. You can pounce people real quick. Um, great for the hardcore domination game type. Uh, team Deathmatch, uh, kill confirmed. Um, I would just say mainly for hardcore. I, I didn't get a lot of experience with it for Search and Destroy this time, unfortunately. 
Um, but yeah, as far as for hardcore um, on those game types, it's just absolutely awesome. So um, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.